everyone and welcome back to Sprinkle with Paper. Today we're going to be making a super fun and easy Halloween treat tray. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a centerpiece for our tray. I'm going to stick a piece of styrofoam into this little black bucket I found at Hobby Lobby. And then I'm going to take the Hocus Pocus cake topper that we made in the last video and I'm going to stick it into the styrofoam. If you'd like to make this topper, I'll link the tutorial right here. Now I'll just use candy corn to cover up the styrofoam, which will double as decoration and a yummy treat. I feel like when it comes to candy corn, you either love it or you hate it. Let me know how you feel about candy corn down in the comments. Now we're going to make our witch's brooms. The first thing we're going to need are mini Reese's cups and we're going to need to take the foil wrapper off of each of them. So if you have little kids at home, this would be a great way for them to get involved. Next we'll be attaching our broomsticks, and for our broomsticks we're just going to be using some of these thin pretzel sticks. So when you're placing the pretzel stick into the chocolate, just give it a little twist and that will prevent your Reese's from breaking. Next we're going to add some ghost peeps. So my daughter Madison is going to be watching Hocus Pocus 2 with some girlfriends and there's going to be six of them. So I'm just going to add six ghost peeps along the back here. Next we're going to make our Hocus Pocus book brownies. So I've seen these all over Pinterest and Instagram and they look so adorable, but when making them I realized that maybe I used the wrong brownie mix because I used a fudge brownie which made them really difficult to cut out. So just a little suggestion, if you're going to make these, don't use a fudge brownie. And if anyone knows of any special way to cut out brownies, please let me know because regardless of the type of brownie I do make, I always have a hard time getting them out of the pan. So now that we have our book shaped brownies, we're just going to use cookie decorating frosting in white and then these little candied eyeballs to make these come to life. And as you can see here, when I went to decorate my brownies, I realized that I wasn't exactly sure what the book looked like. So I just looked up an image on Google and then I was able to make a drawing that was somewhat close to it. I think as long as you have some squiggly lines and the eyeball, it's pretty obvious what it's supposed to be. And for a little finishing touch, I just added some of the little candied eyeballs in with the candy corn. I'm so happy with how this little treat tray turned out. I love creating things that are not only cute but themed, but I always try to keep it very simple and easy. One, so the kids could help out, but two, I don't like to spend too much time working on things where it's going to take away from the most important thing, which is creating memories with my kids. 
So that's why I like to sprinkle in cuteness and magic wherever I can without overcomplicating it. And I feel like this treat cherry is a perfect example of that. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and until next time, happy Halloween and happy crafting.